Hey all, welcome to the channel. I'm Mark. This is Mark's Mods. Now, um, there's been a lot of things on the internet about the modifications of painting for the Titanic. So I just thought I'd come in and just more or less share what paints I'm going to be using for doing the Titanic build. Now, um, basically, I've looked so much into this and um, wanting to try and get it as accurate as possible which is quite hard because there are actually no official pictures um, of the colours, so we don't really know. Um, but what I've come up with so far, um, I think I'm pretty happy with. So, first of all, we've got the uh, wave uh, breakers here that I'm currently painting. Now, I'm doing them in a Revel 04 colour. Um, this was a colour left over from a, another Titanic kit that I did and it pretty much matches what I want it to do. Um, I've got to put another coat on these uh, wave breakers but um, I'm pretty happy with that and how that's turned out. So that's a Revel 04. Okay, so moving on. I can't find the bit that I've uh, taped off but uh, we've got a hatch that's on the... Um, that's on the uh, bow of the ship. Now, for that, underneath, it's got sort of a line. And for that, I'm actually using um, Humbrol Acrylic. Now, this number is... Oh, gosh. Does it say, does it say on this one? should say. Ah, so it is actually Humbrol 61 that I'm going to be using for the orange bits that are on there. Um, this pretty much matches up to uh, other colours down model uh, Titanics as well. So that's what I'm going to be using. Now for the green parts, um, like the winches and the bollards and stuff like that, I've got kind of two colours. So I've got a nice light. Uh, this is Humbrol Acrylic 87. Uh, this is quite a nice lightish metal green. It's actually put down as actually a, a metal green uh, when I bought it from the shop. So that's what I'm going to be using for the winches. I do also have this uh, Revel uh, 364 as well, which is a bit darker. But if I needed to go a little bit darker on the green, I can use this uh, Revel 364. Okay, now for the top of the... Um, bollards because we do know they're sort of a goldish colour uh, for that i'm going to be using uh humbrol acrylic again 16. um this is a nice effect on it really nice colour but should when done be quite a nice shiny top um so that's the one i'm using for that one like i said i have looked at all these colours in detail and really studied pictures and everything else like that so that's the color i'll be using for the top of the ballards which are nice like a gold shiny color now moving on any black pieces that i'm going to need to do i'm going to be using this uh humbrel again which is enamel and this is a matte 33 again this was used on another kit that i did uh, of the titanic and it's a pretty really good matte so again, that's Humbrol 33. Um, I do have this colour again, which is quite close. This is um, uh, a Revel Matte 9 uh, colour. But I find that the Matte 33 is a bit darker than the uh, the Matte 9. So, And I believe going darker was the best idea. So that's the paints that I'll be using. If I bring them all into uh, camera shot. It's quite a lot of paint really for uh, an issue one of a part work because um, things are not accurate enough uh, for me and I did say obviously modding it and painting it and stuff like that I would actually share what I was going with so um, people have sort of a rough idea of what you need to do um, I'm very very happy with these colours um, and yeah, um, I can't wait to get started. I've already started on the wave breakers. They need a second coat, uh, which I'm about to do. 
and then I'm going to start on the uh, hatch as well and then the bollards as you know I picked up plenty of uh, issue ones of the Titanic the reason for that is I wanted to try and get the colours right and I wanted to try and get the detail right as well um, but I am on with painting it I am not rushing this job whatsoever just to get a video out on how I'm modding it um, I'm saying that is because I want this to be as accurate as I can um, so like I said I'm about four days on the uh, wave breakers uh, doing them I've just got a last second coat to put on these but it's not something I want to rush because I want to take my time and I want to enjoy uh, painting this Titanic I want it to look right as well um, I think at the end of the day the, what we're going to be spending on it it really does deserve um, it taking time and everything else like that remember I am doing two I'm doing the Harshek one and I'm doing the uh, Eagle Moss one so these colours are really going to come in to uh, help me later on down the line I am planning on purchasing an airbrush to help with the uh, Eagle Moss version because that's not painted and some of the bits again along the way so um, yeah if you want to know what colours I use there they are the colours that I am actually going with and I'm pretty happy about it like I said I've spent so long in studying pictures um, so I can get these colours right the first time but that's just a little update on how I'm continuing with my Titanic uh, the Harshet one at the moment and yeah really looking forward to it but I'm not rushing it I want it to be right um, and it's not easy when you don't have really any coloured pictures um, that's not easy at all <laughs> excuse me but I thought I'd just do this little short video on a way to start uh, getting your colours right for the Titanic <coughs> excuse me it can be quite daunting at first but uh, yeah uh, these are the colours I'm going with <coughs> excuse me I've got a dry throat so yeah just a little quick update video on how I am uh, with the uh, progress on the uh, Titanic build um, and yeah um, I hope you find this video uh, very helpful in choosing the colours and getting the colours right and I'll catch you next time so guys uh, stay safe and bye for now